All right, boys and gals and everybody in between, get around, get around for some college basketball, baby. Because we, right now, we have a month left to go in the season. Just a month, I know, right? Crazy, right? We'll know who's going to the big dance in 30 days or so. So, you know, why don't we get on down into it? Um... There is a lot of stuff going on this Saturday and Sunday. There is a lot going on. Let me tell you that right now. And the XFL being on as well, you know, it's going to be a great day. You know, have the double screen up or, you know, have, have a TV there. Have, a, have another TV there. You got your basketball on. You got your XFL on. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's going to be one heck of a day. So, starting off, the Saturday slate is a, another Purdue-Ohio State game, along with Oklahoma-Kansas and Syracuse-Florida State. Now, this time around, I'm going to actually attempt, I'm going to actually make an attempt to watch Florida State games. I swear I have not seen an ACC game in a long time. I, I don't think I've seen a game with an ACC team in a long time, and i got to rectify that before March Madness. Um, so forgive me if I have, if I haven't been watching some of that delicious ACC basketball, boys. Um, but, um, those are the three to keep, keep your eye on. Purdue and Ohio State, they're kind of like in that tier of like, hey, how many teams is the Big Ten going to send to the tournament type thing? Um, and... And it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I guarantee you. It'll be fun. Um, now, here's the funny thing. Um, <laughs> XFL's going to be on. Like, the game, like, the XFL game is going to start. But I don't think I'll be able to do, like, th unless I split off into, like, two different bodies. I don't think I'll be able to do this. Because right now, um, again, I have to continue to... Talk about my U and T Mean Green each and every week because they're still leading Conference USA right now. Um, from most people's projections, thinking that U and T or whoever else is in the top three in Conference USA, they could be a 13 seed in the tournament. As long as it's in, as long as it's in the top three, like Western Kentucky and Louisiana Tech, I'm thinking off the top of my head right now. Um, they're taking on Old Dominion. That's on ESPAU at one. PM, so here that's 1 p.m. 2 p.m. for you, for you East Coasters. Um, but then we got Texas and Iowa State, and I am not ready for this game. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not ready at all. This week was already bad enough when we lost the Baylor, lost pretty badly, had like 16 points in the in the first half, and we just could not do anything. It, it was another case of Shaka Smart being Shaka Smart and the players not gathering around him, not doing what they need to do. And it's kind of sad. But uh, it's also Georgetown Butler, 130. If you're pretty interested in Big East basketball, I have not really been that interested, um, to be completely honest with you, which is kind of sad. Um, but um, 3 o'clock. Notre Dame taking on Duke, the Dukies. Um, then you got LSU, Bama, and Louisville taking on Clemson. I remember y'all. I remember Clemson. They took down North Carolina and Duke earlier in the year. I think. Yeah, they did. I swear. I swear they did. Yeah, they did. I can't remember everything, y'all. I'm sorry, but um, again, it'll be a testament to see because I gotta I gotta get something going. I don't know what. It's going to be that I'm going to watch. I don't know what it's going to be at that time or I'm going to watch, but I'm going to watch something. Um, take a look at just some main games here, you know. Um, then at 5 o'clock, big time game. Maryland taking on Michigan State. Michigan State dropped out of the top 25 last, last Sunday. Um, and they're looking to get they're looking to get back in. I don't know how they've done this week, but uh, with their other game this week, but they're looking to get back in the top twenty-five and stuff like that. 
Um, at that same time, Auburn, Missouri uh, is coming home. That's on ESPN2. Um, and if you want to watch The American, there's Houston SMU on what ESPNU. That's what it's looking like. That's what it says here. Um, and the reference that I keep looking down at is Matt Sars. Um, his site has all the schedules and stuff like that. Um, very great site. Follow the guy on Twitter. Um, he's great. As far as getting these schedules and stuff out, to, you know, like, it helps me out immensely, to be completely honest. That's that's not a plug, by the way, because um, I'm only a guy with 50 subs, so. Um, but then, 7 p.m. or 8 p.m., depending on where you are, we have Virginia taking on North Carolina. I think there was a time change at some point because I don't see any 5 o'clock games here. Oh, wait, yeah, I'm stupid. Um, yeah, so Maryland, Michigan State is that 5 o'clock game along with Auburn and, and Missouri. And the, uh, and the 7 o'clock games are, well, just Virginia and North Carolina. I'm not really too concerned about this game, to be completely honest with you. Virginia's probably going to the tournament. I don't know about North Carolina yet. Maybe, maybe not. Um, then we keep looking and going, trying to find Gonzaga, and they're taking on Pepperdine. It honestly does not matter. Um, there's a lot of Pac-12 type stuff going on. Um, you know, you got Washington taking on UCLA, you got Colorado taking on Oregon State. Again, Pac-12 is looking very, very nice this year. It's looking a lot better than it did last year. Um, I'm not sure. Let me take. A, let me find. Um, can't can't find our only undefeated team left in college basketball anywhere. Cannot find them on here. <clears throat> yeah, can't find them. That's that's pretty whack. Oh, they're playing on Sunday, so San Diego State's playing on Sunday. They're taking on Boise State on Sunday, so if you want to, you know, like, get, get, get some Bronco games in, and, and that'll be, that'll be interesting. I'm not going to lie to you. That'll be pretty interesting to see. Um, let's see. Let's break down some of these standings real quick. Because I'm sure. One more thing, Indiana, Michigan, if you want to watch that, that's also on Sunday. That's at like 12, 12 p.m. And then the, um, the Boise State game, San Diego State's at 3. Um, there's a Utah Oregon game late at night, but if, I, I'm not going to be watching um, college basketball at 8 o'clock on a Sunday. That's hearsay. It's hearsay. Come on. Um. Now let's take a look at these standings here. Ah uh, yes, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I found them. I found them. Now to let me just open it up. Okay, so Houston's still in the lead in the American Athletic Conference right now, but um at 25, I think they'll be firmly in the tournament. Um, at least these top six in the American, I think, could be in. Uh, Houston, Cincinnati, Tulsa, SMU, Memphis, and Wichita State, I think they're all going to be in. There's no there's no way they can't be in, unless they're like on the bubble or something, which I highly doubt they will be. I mean, sure, Memphis and Wichita State are kind of middling right now in conference play because they're both six and five, but hey... And I will continue to forget about Obi Toppin and, 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 and Dayton. I am sorry, Dayton fans. I am very sorry that I have forgotten about y'all. Very, very sorry. Um, and they're actually playing UMass tomorrow, so... Oh. Oh, right now. Oh. But, but Obi Toppin... He... Man, what a guy. I have not been talking about this guy at all. I don't know why I haven't, but it just happened. And 
looking at the rest of Dayton's schedule, I don't know if they're going to lose again during the regular season. They could just walk out. They're 22-2 right now, and they were the sixth seed as of last week's bracket predictions and stuff like that. And as far as other teams going from the Atlantic 10, I think right now Rhode Island's the only other team that can go. Um, maybe Richmond, maybe St. Bonnie's, maybe BCU, maybe Duquesne. Um, but most definitely Rhode Island, probably. I don't think the eight ten is going to be a one bit league. They're all they're always doing they're always doing something. They're always getting teams in the tournament. That's why they're a basketball conference. <clears throat> and in the Atlantic Coast right now, Louisville has gotten up. They've gotten the lead in the ACC right now. And remember that regular season title is definitely important. You know, to some of these bigger conferences, they get buys and stuff like that. So this is definitely important for Louisville. Duke and Florida State are like literally right behind, uh, and Virginia is kind of there at eight and five in conference play. Um, not sure because I mean it's not looking too good right now. Um, North Carolina is all the way, all the way down at the bottom, along with Miami. Just just sad times if you're a Tar Heel fan. Sad times are ahead. Um, and I don't even want to look at the Big 12 because, I mean, good God, this conference is just absolutely not the greatest this year. I think there's only going to be five teams, maybe, that get into the tournament. And I'll list them all right now. Baylor, boy, oh boy, number one overall seed, probably. 22-1, and 11-0 in conference play. Beating Kansas in conference play. Um, Texas Tech's probably getting in. West Virginia's probably getting in. Oklahoma's probably getting in. So, you know, um, to all you haters out there, um, Big East here, Big East, Big East, Big East, Seton Hall still in the lead, even though I, even though, I mean, it's just like, at this point, it is what it is, the Big East. I think there's going to be a lot of teams to get in from this conference as well. Like you see, like Xavier sitting here at five and seven in conference play, but they're sixteen and nine overall. I think they'll be getting closer and closer to getting in. Um, but right now, Seton Hall, followed by Villanova, Creighton, Marquette, and Butler, they're all there. And right now, it's a pretty tight race at the Big East. So you know, so about six or seven games left in conference play. So we'll see what happens there. Then the big conglomerate that is the Big East. I mean, not the Big East, the Big Ten. Just crazy, crazy time right now. Uh, Maryland is on top, followed by Penn State. Um, I think Penn State probably should have gotten that, um, that 16th seed um, from last week because we all know that Michigan State hasn't really done too much this urban. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, again, I think there's going to be a lot of teams that's going to make the tournament from this conference. Maybe not Minnesota. I don't, I don't know. Cause right now they're 12 and 11. Uh, but everybody else, this is fair game. This conference could send 11 teams to the tournament. Fair game here. And again, just to fact check, but I was right. North Texas, followed by Western Kentucky, followed by Louisiana Tech. And I remember Conference USA does the little pods thing. So it's going to be like the top four or five teams, and then the next top five, and then the next final four, you know, down at the bottom. So we'll see what they do on Sunday um, as far as the um, pods and stuff go. I think the pods are almost pretty firm and set. Uh, we're just waiting on what's going to happen. Meanwhile, <clears throat> Meanwhile, here's an interesting case. Utah State, 9-5. and five. The conference play 20-7 overall. Um, could they possibly get a bid into the tournament? It could be possible. It could be possible. You never know. You never know. It, it could be possible that Utah State could get in. They have to win more games, though. I think they'll have to win a couple in the conference tournament, especially. And they have, they probably have to beat San Diego State just to, you know, 
at some point. Let's take a look at their schedule real quick. Or rather, what's left of it. So they already played San Diego State, and they lost um, a couple Saturdays ago. So, you know, it is what it is. And they do not see San Diego State again. Conference play. They've already played them twice. Um, these final four games, the Utah State has Fresno State tomorrow. Utah, I mean, not Utah State, Wyoming, San Diego, San Jose State, and, he, and New Mexico. I think these final four games will tell a lot for Utah State. Pac-12, in the meantime, looks like a cluster of teams right now. Uh, Oregon and Colorado are tied for first. There's the both the Arizonas are seven and four. UC, USC and UCLA are seven and five. Stanford's falling off a cliff after starting out so good. I think that was probably because of their schedule, probably. Um, and Utah's also kind of there. So there could be about maybe like five to seven teams that make the tournament for the Pac-12. Right now, in my estimation, um, I think it's just going to be about getting more wins for for everybody involved. You know, you don't get any points for beating Washington because they're two and any conference. No matter how good that Oregon Washington game was a couple of weeks ago, you don't get any brownie points for that. SEC, SEC. What about the SEC? Um, not much has really changed, to be completely honest with you. I think there will be about five teams to get in, uh, from my estimation, at least. LSU's going to be one of them. Kentucky's going to be one of them. Auburn's going to be one of them. They're 22 and 2. This really shouldn't even be, you know, a problem at this point. But here they are, 22 and 2. Florida's making a case to get in. And South Carolina, who I have just not talked about at all, I think they'll make a case to get in as well. And, well, that's about it. Um, other teams, I guess I'll throw in the West Coast Conference here. Um, BYU, Pacific, and St. Mary's? Would that possibly be a thing? Could we see a four-bid West Coast Conference? I do not know. I'll tell you this much. Gonzaga is probably going to be a one seed no matter what. Now... Gonzaga has five games left in conference play, and because uh, the West Coast Conference moved back down to 16 games for the purposes of getting better schedules, which I think is kind of arbitrary at this point, to be moving down to 16 games, um, just don't schedule Division II schools or don't schedule trash HBCUs. But there's a lot here that we can dissect and cover. Who knows what's going to happen? Let, let Saturday and Sunday tell the story. So with that, everybody, this video was very long and featured a lot, a lot of talking from me about different things. So I'll let you guys get settled in for some XFL, some college football. I mean, not college football. Not college football, college basketball tomorrow. And, you know, just get ready because I know I am. So, if you don't want to watch a long video, just skip around. Um, I don't want to leave timestamps or anything like that. Just, just skip around, everybody. And you'll see you guys around. Um, probably Sunday, I guess. Or Monday. I don't know when, but we'll find out when. Um, yeah, well, I'll just see you guys in the next video, okay? Y'all take care. Good night.